welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really awesome jumbo acorns using an item that you probably already have at home in storage somewhere. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. Alrighty, so what you need, of course, you need Easter eggs. These came from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some paint. Now you can use whatever, whatever paint you want to use, whatever color you want to use. You can use acrylic paint that comes in bottles like this. You can use spray paint myself. I really like this multicolor textured paint from Rust-Oleum. I use the color Autumn Brown because as you can see, it's, it's kind of rough and it has like various colors of flecks in it. It has a lot of dimension, but this stuff is also about $6 a can and there's really not a lot in it. So like I said, you use whatever kind of paint you want. You're gonna need some twine. This big roll here came from Walmart, but Dollar Tree does carry this. It's over, at least in my store, it's over in the automotive section. It comes in a three pack. You get two rolls of the neutral color and then you get a roll of green. I have a hot glue gun, glue sticks, some scissors. I have some sticks <laughs> that I've found in my yard. And I have an emery board or you can use a piece of sandpaper or whatever you want. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I'll cut the egg apart like this because I don't like that little nub right there. Now I took the emery board, like I said, sandpaper, whatever, just scratch it up a little bit because if you don't, the surface of these are really, really slick and smooth and your paint is not really gonna stick to it. It, it will chip and peel off. So just rough your eggs up. A little bit like that do both sides like that now if the holes in your eggs are big or if they're gonna bother you take your glue gun and go in like this just drop some glue down in it and it will fill up the holes and make them smooth I did not do that with mine because uh, I'm gonna have mine in a basket and you're not gonna see them but if you want to take that extra step go ahead and do that then I went outside to had a big old piece of cardboard <laughs> laying on the ground Laid the eggs down like this, and then I just spray painted them. I put a couple coats and let it dry for 24 hours. And this is what they look like. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is take a piece of this stick, and I'm just going to cut a piece off, and that's going to be our stem. I want the bark to come off. That's going to be our stem. So I'm just going to put, can you all see this? A dot of glue right there and put the stick down in it and hold that for a second and let the glue set up i said i love gorilla glue but it takes a while to cool down it has like a 30 45 second working time something like that anyway good stuff just takes forever to set up sometimes set that little sucker you know what okay sit there hold still i'll set him there don't don't move now we're going to take our twine and I just think it's easier to start near the stem because see that gives you something to actually wrap your twine around to start off with and my glue has not set up yet so I'm just going to wrap it around like that and I'm going to hold it for a few seconds and I'm going to pause the video so that y'all don't have to sit here and watch my glue dry and I'll be right back okay i think that glue has set up so now all that i'm doing here is i'm just putting a little dot of hot glue right there and i'm just going to start to spiral the twine around and around putting a dot of glue just every now and again just to hold it in place now my glue gun here gets very very hot i do suggest using a low temp gun for this because it can melt the eggs <laughs> i noticed some of them have like little thin spots in them. I mean, they're from the Dollar Tree, you know. Some of them have little thin spots in them. So um, the glue can kind of melt them and, and make a disaster. But I don't know where my low temp glue gun is. And you know, I know I have three of them and I don't know where they are. I still have so many boxes of craft supplies that have yet to be unpacked. So I'm just putting small dots here and not using a lot of the glue as much as I can get away with and all that I'm doing is I'm just going to spiral this all the way around all the way down until the, the, um, the little crease right here the line where you snap the eggs together I'm just going to work it all the way down there and then that's going to be my stopping point and I wanted to paint the tops just a little bit you know in case I had a bare spot in my twine you know you wouldn't see like the bright color of the eggs shining through 
but um, I didn't really I didn't really pay too much attention to the tops you know as to whether they were fully covered with the paint or not so I said it's gonna be covered up so you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to I mean it's kind of like a waste of paint but all right I want to keep working on this and then once I get the whole top filled up with my twine I'll come back and I'll show you what I've got and there we go. How cute is that? So these look really, really good. Heaped all together in a basket, you know, part of a centerpiece. You stick them on a wreath, you know, whatever you want to do with them. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as brief as it was. So please, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of those are in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.